How do you think, you, you mentioned fans and spectator uh, attendance at, at the races. I know we're just guessing here, but how do you see that changing, um, at least short term? Well, you know, I, I don't I don't know if I have a crystal ball, but, you know, I just have to think that people will uh, act different and and have different mechanisms. So um, of the way they, you know, go out into the world. So, I, you know, I don't know. Um, the eye racing. I don't know if you paid attention, but we've been doing this virtual eye racing, uh, which your, seemed to your be brother a hit. Was... Um, yeah, <laughs> he's been right at the forefront of it. What's so amazing about that is now that's being nationally televised in, televised. in place of where the the NASCAR races would normally have been. Having these eye races and on Sundays, and I sit on the couch and I'm. You're watching something that's real in a sense that a person is physically doing some work, right? They've got a steering wheel in their hand and they really got to be able to know how to operate the video game. But then you're watching something that's not real in the same breath because it's not live. You know, it, there's not a real roaring machine there uh, that someone has crafted and put together with their hands um, in front of a live audience. So it's, it's a really strange bird for me. Uh, I was jumping up and down the first race when Dale was coming for the win with Denny Hamlin. And I, then I looked at myself and I'm like, I feel kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what's, uh, what's Dale said to you about it? He loves it. <laughs> yeah, he's enjoying it. Um, you know, I racing, he's been an I racer for 20 years, whenever it first came out. So he uh, is really, you know, eating this moment up and this time up. And, you know, I think for him too, it's something that uh, he has mentioned publicly in the last several months that he misses racing. And he didn't really miss it at first after he retired but he's been missing it in these last several months. And, and, um, and so I think this is filling a void and filling a gap for him too, that he can participate in something that his peers on the racetrack, you know, are participating in too. And uh, that kind of makes it cool. So he's enjoying it. As long as uh, Amy and Isla are happy and, and he's not interrupting nap time and family time, uh, everybody's all about it. As a leader, um, what gives you hope um, and optimism during this crazy time in times like this you really see i think the true meaning of humanity you see people coming together you see um you see us thinking about things in different ways uh, this morning we got a text from uh, one of our workers that said hey can i go into the shop the hospital near where i live needs these guards they're like plexiglass looks and guards and I'd like to purchase the product and go make them there at the shop if I can we're like no problem but you know you just you, re you really see the true spirit of humanity um in the rat race of life we get lo it gets lost uh you know we're we're trying to achieve the next thing we're trying to win the next race we're trying to get the next dollar um and and all of these different things so I think it's um gives us a chance to pause and uh kind of reflect and uh, I've told my people every single week, I hope that you're enjoying the family time and you're, you're making family memories. In our sport, we don't get that, you know, uh, very often. And so take it all in. Yeah, it's crazy. It's scary. You know, our jobs are at a standstill, but replace that with what is happening and, and what is good um, that you're around and what you can be a part of. Thanks, Kelly. All, all right. right. Thanks, Graham. Graham.